Hi, in this video I would like to introduce you the next generation of industrial X-ray flat panel detectors from GE. The new detector is called Dynamic 41100 and is the first product in GE's next generation industrial X-ray flat panel detector platform. It has a detection area of 410 by 410 millimeters squared and a pixel size of 100 micrometers. That means you have 16 megapixels combining superior image quality with improved sensitivity and detection speed. Based on latest GE Healthcare Photodiode technology, this new detector generation has been designed and optimized exclusively for non-destructive X-ray applications in high energy as well as rough environments. It features GE's proprietary endurance cesium iodide scintillators and offers superior resolution and brightness compared to conventional GADOX or other powder-based scintillators. In order to show you the performance of this detector, we have picked a couple of examples. The first one is a direct X-ray image of a $5 bill. So this one we put in directly in front of the detector surface in order to see the resolution and performance of the detector without geometric magnification. Now I would like to show you the uh, performance on the detector on this uh, example of the $5 bill. So um, I would like to first show you the overview of the X-ray image here uh, taken with the Dynamic 41 100 detector. You clearly see the fine structures, for instance here in the Lincoln letters or here around this area or in other areas. If you compare that with standard detectors which have a, a resolution of 200 micron, you clearly see the difference. So again, if you see, look at the overview, you see it's not as crisp and sharp. When you zoom in and uh, look at the details, you see for instance in this area here up there, you see that the um, resolution is different. For instance here, over here you see almost no structures. When you compare that to the um, 100 micron detector, you clearly see fine structures in the image. One major design goal of this detector was to increase the resolution by a factor of two without a significant impact on the exposure time. In order to prove that this goal was uh, achieved, we took the uh, images of this $5 bills in, in, with exactly the same parameters, with the same X-ray settings and with the same exposure time. And when you look at the results of the, uh, of the $5 bill again, you see that the um, contrast to noise ratio and the image noise is very comparable. I also have data to show you that qualitatively. If you look here, the CNR of the um, uh, 200 micron detector in this case is 26. It was taken with an ASTM um, uh, uh, IQI. When you do the same uh, imaging with the exact identical exposure settings, you see that even for also for the 100 micron detector you have an identical CNR value of 26. These two examples show that our design goal of having a minimized impact on the exposure time um, for this detector where the area of, for each pixel is just a quarter of the area of a 200 micron detector is fulfilled. So what does it mean for real-world application if you have a, a 100 micron XA detector with a high sensitivity? Um, in order to show you the advantage of the 100 micron detector Dynamic 41, we scanned this aluminum die casting with both detectors, a 200 micron detector and the Dynamic 41 100. Here on the screen you see now the typical results you get with a 200 micron detector the 3D rendering, a cross-section and two uh, areas where we tip, picked typical um, shrinkages or pores in the volume. So the C this is the typical performance you get in a CT data set when you have a, 100, a 200 micron pixel pitch detector. Now I switch to the Dynamic 41 data and you see immediately the advantage. You see the higher resolution and you see that you can detect much finer pores. For instance, if you look in these areas, you see that there are pores. If you go to the 200 micron detector, you barely see the pores. And also the sharpness of this bigger shrinkage here is much higher. So what does it mean? What impact, negative impact do you see on the signal to noise or contrast to noise ratio when you have smaller pixels? For this detector, you see the image looks pretty clean the noise is pretty low. If you go to the 
200 micron detector that you don't really see a big difference. So that means again, um, you can see that um, with uh, our Dynamic 41, we increase the resolution without major impact on the scan time. Another advantage of the higher brightness and sensitivity of the Dy Dynamic 41 detector is to use it for higher throughput and productivity applications. In this example, we scanned the same part twice as fast with a Dynamic 41 detector compared to the standard detector. Now you see the Dynamic 41 scan is already finished, whereas the scan with the standard detector is still running. Now when you compare the two results, you can barely see a difference. Sharpness and signal-to-noise ratio are very comparable. Other areas where you benefit from high resolution and high uh, performance detectors are, uh, for instance, uh, aerospace, jet engine turbine blades. Here we want to see fine structures like, for instance, over drills in the drill holes, or in a completely, other er diff uh, completely different area is electronics, where you want to look at uh, electronic circuit board assemblies on the one hand, but also want to see individual solder joints on the other hand. Um, um, growing areas are new materials and manufacturing methods. New materials are, for instance, composites, where you want to see the uh, structure of the carbon fibers. All, and last but not least, additive manufacturing here. This is a 3D printed metal ball with a very fine structure. In order to visualize these fine structure, a high resolution detector is highly beneficial. The new Dynamic 41 detector technology will be introduced soon, exclusively in GE, X-ray and CT systems. We will start with the Vitamax M over here and we will also introduce this in the Vitamax C and L. It will be also available in the X-Cubes and nowhere else in the universe.